Assalamu alaikum YouTubers Welcome back to SLK Tools Here in this section We'll be talking about a sparse calculations Just for highways And remember This is continuation of the last lecture Of course this is part 3 We have done already Part 1 and part 2 In part 1 and part 2 Some of the friends asked For a sparse calculations When the highway is in hilly area Like this one so I just want to uh, go a little in detail about this guy, alright? So in this section, we'll be talking about sparse calculations when the highway is in hilly area. You can clearly see the highway. It's pretty nice. I like uh, such a highways. Just for circle, alright? Look at over here, this one. This is just little uh, zigzag type highway. And the alignment is pretty good. I like it. Now, here is a question, how we can calculate as a quantity surveyor the spots for this highway? I think for better understanding, we must have a few examples as we do always, alright? So here is example 1. And in this example, we are just asked to calculate a spots and remember in tons, yeah, this is good, in tons, when the breadth of this highway is just 8 meter. And the thickness of a spot layer is 15 cm. Remember, the change of this highway is about 7 plus 100 km. And this is pretty good and pretty nice term. Remember, the spot's density is just 2400 kg per cubic meter. And the reference is just specifications, alright? Remember, the density is just the density for compacted as parts. So all compaction factors will be just ignored, alright? No question is needed over here. So everything is just clear, alright? The dimensions and uh, uh, the density, alright? Uh, anything is uh, given just pretty. But one thing is little challenging over here, the change of this road which is 7 plus 100 kilometer. What does it mean? 7 plus 100 kilometer. Do you understand this? If you are a land surveyor, you must know, alright? If you are a quantity surveyor, you must learn this guy from land surveyors. Here in this section, this guy, 7 plus 00, uh, the 7 is just 7 kilometer. 100 is just 100 meter and this is quite simple when the change is in kilometer. What if the change is in miles? The 7 will just represent 7 miles. 100 will represent 100 feet. And this is quite simple. I think I must start the solutions for a spot calculation. So I'll come straight into solutions. And my approach is just the weight of us parts, just look at our hair, we are asked to calculate these guys in tons. And remember, the weight of anything is always its volume time density. This is quite simple, alright? So, uh, I'll just first calculate the volume, because the density is given over here, the volume is not given. The volume is always the cross-section area times length. Breadth time thickness is just the cross-section times length make this guy into volume. So the volume must be length. What about length? The length is not given of this highway. And the highway is quite little complicated over here. Uh, the measurement of length will be little complicated. But don't worry, alright? Just look at the change. Of course the change is just the length of this highway. Say how? The change just represent the length in kilometer uh, from where the road is start or from the zero point of road. So uh, just look, what's the length over here? Or let me just uh, write these guys in short form as L times breadth uh, B times thickness is T. Now just look over here. The length is given in change form as 7 plus 100. The 7 means 7 kilometer. We'll just convert 7 kilometer into meters. So 
I'll multiply 7 with 1000. This will convert 7 kilometer into meters. What about uh, this, this guy 100? I'll just add them, alright? So this is the total length. In the formula we have the breadth times breadth. Breadth is 8 of course over here you can clearly see in the example terms. What's thickness? It's over 15, alright? It means it's 0 0.15 uh, meter. 15 is centimeter, just divide this guy by 100, you can get meters, alright? So plug and chug in, when you calculate this term over here, 7 times 1000, this will give you uh, plus uh, 100, uh, 7, 100 meter. Actually, 7 times 1000 makes this guy 7000 plus 100. It means 7100. It's just the length of this highway in this hilly area. Times breadth, which is 8, times 115, which is thickness. So you can get the volume 8520 cubic meter. Yes, this is much. I'll just put this guy over here in this equation. You must get the weight of what uh, spot, alright? So the volume is 8520 times the density, just look at over here, it's 2400 kg per cubic meter. A few friends just ask what's the density? It's of course mass per volume. Does it make sense? I'll, uh, I'll just go ahead. So the weight of a spot must be when you multiply these guys, you must get 2044800 kg. Wow, that's much, really much. But it is in kg. Just look at our hair in the example term, we are asked to calculate these guys in tons. So I'll just divide this term by 1000 because 1 ton is always equal to 1000 kg. Alright, this will give you answer as weight of a spot 2044 tons. Yeah, it's good. So this was my approach and I have done it. Now it's your turn, alright? And this was of course the last presentation about a spot's calculation. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And what? Nothing. Wassalam.